everyone, Mike Sherry at Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm going to do a quick video on RV sidewall construction. Uh, the two main RV sidewall construction is going to be either a fiberglass exterior or an aluminum metal exterior. So I'm going to show you the differences, the good and the bad, and uh, just give you some information on it. So we're going to start out here today on the fiberglass exterior construction and it's very easy to pinpoint the difference. The fiberglass exterior construction is going to be smooth, right? Now there's different types of fiberglass exterior construction. You can get the gel coat, which is basically a finish on the exterior uh, fiberglass that uh, makes it smooth. You don't see the individual fibers in a gel coat finish. It's going to be easier to clean. Um, and it generally looks good, better. The sun makes it glisten. So, but all fiberglass uh, exterior constructed walls are going to have inside a skeleton or a support type system and 90% of them are going to be uh, aluminum studs in there right you do get some wood construction on some products but most of them are going to be uh, aluminum and this is going to be what they call a vacuum bonded or a pinch rolled wall uh, it's just the process that they do to make the wall so the benefits of a fiberglass exterior constructed camper it's going to be easier to uh, keep clean most people say they're more modern looking right they don't have the metal on them that looks maybe a little old school uh, but they're going to be easier to keep clean also generally these campers are lighter in weight and that's mostly due to that aluminum construction inside of these walls right uh, some of the downfalls is uh, the downfalls for any camper is if it gets a water leak say this window right here would leak and then leak into the wall what's going to happen to the fiber glasses you're gonna get a bubble here they call it delamination uh, generally you're gonna see the bubble on the outside and on the inside the wall board is going to get wet almost like a wet paper towel does it kind of wrinkles up uh, so not the end of the world but to fix it is a little bit more difficult on a fiberglass trailer than an aluminum sided uh, metal trailer uh, to fix the inside you of course will replace the wall board and any of the insulation that got ruined in there to fix the outside is where it becomes challenging sometimes you need an entire new wall entire new piece of fiberglass sometimes a body shop can piece in and make it look good uh, and of course you do both of those items after you find where the water's coming in and fix that so it's a little bit harder to fix a fiberglass sided trailer all right now onto an aluminum sided trailer like what i've got in front of us here uh, this is how they started building travel trailers and they still build them very successfully today uh, you get the metal sided aluminum there's different types of metal like this trailer here uh, has what they call the yoder metal down here it just has more bends in it that makes it stronger right there's also different thicknesses in metal uh, but generally they're all around uh, the same thickness uh, and there's also what they call painted metal. This has the painted metal on it now. Uh, so the benefits of a metal sided trailer is, for example, the same thing. Say this window up here forms a water leak. It's not going to do anything to damage the metal here. Uh, you're going to notice the water leak generally on the inside. The wall board going to get the same type. It's going to be wrinkled like a wet paper towel roll would be after it dries. You're going to have to replace that wall board fix the leak wherever it's coming in around the window uh, and if any of the studs in this generally the studs on an aluminum metal sided trailer are going to be wood construction so the skeleton is going to be wood and 90 percent of the aluminum sided trailers out there on the market uh, and if any of that wood would happen to get mildewy or even if it's bad enough it could even rot if it's leaked long enough you simply take the metal off. You start at the bottom and each metal is stapled or nailed sometimes into those wood trusses and it just comes off just like siding wood on a house. You remove the metal, replace what is damaged in the inside and put the metal right back on. So it's very simple to do, very easy to fix if a water leak would happen. Uh, so uh, these trailers are generally a little bit heavier due to that wood construction. It's gonna be a little bit heavier than the aluminum. Also, it's gonna be a little bit harder to keep clean uh, due to the rigidity of the metal. Um, also on metal sided trailers, uh, the decals and such, uh, don't like to stick as well as they do to that smooth sided trailer uh, we see a lot of companies going like this trailer here where there's not a lot of decals instead they paint the metal so uh, that's a little bit of the differences between the construction I'm not saying one is better than the other both are really good and both if you maintain your seals 
seal around your windows and your roof lines, uh, you're not going to get the water damage that causes issues. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative and uh, keep your eye on our, on our page here to watch for more upcoming videos.